What's going on everybody? I'm System 66 It's arrived a day early. I'm very excited to play it. Failed to connect to network. I don't care. I just want to play the one player. Um, I think we'll brighten it up a little bit by that much. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to do two uh, for everything. Okay, I don't care. No. New game options, have a look. I want it on normal. Display. Let me see. Camera, normal gameplay, invert Y. When aiming, invert Y. Yep, that's all cool. Is it on normal? Yeah, I'm guessing it's on normal. Standard, cool. So yeah, this arrived today bought it from game and um, I was quite excited I thought it was coming on the 3rd got it today so i got to give a massive shout out to game forget what I've said before about game when you order a game from them it's actually coming to you like pretty quick so cool this pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history angry mobs around the city a little too close to home. I wonder if we'll see the London riots. I swear that's the London riots. Yeah, I grew up in London, so I was uh, I was there when it was happening. Oh shit! Honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Oh, okay. All right. It's kind of it's kind of different. A lot more uh, thematic. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Hmm. We haven't seen real live. Okay. We haven't seen a live type of cutscene since the original uh, Resident Evil director's cut. That's one that I, you know, I played. Uh, it is a little bit like Apocalypse, the film, in my personal opinion, from what I'm seeing here. It's a little strange. Jill Valentine. I like this. The beginning's really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, cool, cool. I mean, it made sense to have this in, you know, the remake because we don't get to see her in her apartment in the original. We just see her kind of escape, you know. She's got look. She's doing her police, her police um, detective work. A net Birkin. That's a net Birkin. Yep. Brothers Towers. Wow. Uh, this is impressive. The beginning is very impressive. Also reminds me of RE7 a little bit, which is cool. If we put the stereo on. Nope. Oh, she's got a pair of uh, K. Damn it. Oh, what are they called? Oh, I'm so dumb. Like, I, I DJ in my spare time and stuff. KRSs. Yeah. I know one of my mates is going to fucking. Um, slate me for getting that wrong. Rockets, basically, those speakers. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh she's dreaming, okay. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's messed up. Oh, 
Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool. The intro is cool, man. Really cool. Ooh, that's fucked up. Oh shit. Oh shit, what what a sick intro man. That is a sick intro. Is that Chris Redfield? People said that that photo might be Chris Redfield. It looks like you got a painted on moustache, man. It's worse every night. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. I like that intro. Days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Yeah, man. So I'm only playing the beginning moments of this. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how it does. Maybe I'll, I'll do a let's play. I'm not sure. What pills you got? They better not be umbrella pills. You better not have bought, bought those f like from umbrella. You know, umbrella products. Cool. It's got some cool posters. Fucking dark. I like the new jewel. Like her. Who could that be? Please be Chris or Barry or something. Probably not. All but right, I'm coming. Probably Brad. Hello. Jill, are you okay? Brad, That's Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> that is sick. Oh fuck. Oh shit. She weren't expecting that. That's not gonna work. Dude, that's some Jason shit. Oh mate, Umbrella sent all the big guns, man. Oh. So all this was in um, first person when we saw it on like on the trailers and stuff. Oh shit! No Fuck! But we only get the first person for the first few minutes. getting her ass kicked. Dude, the nemesis is, um, yeah. Ooh. Run. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. 
I like that. Stars. Cool. Let's check check if there's anything. I don't know. Um, oof. that was intense. I like the, uh, the beginning school. There's Brad. Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Uh, it's Tubby Brad. Tim to find though. A little bit fatter. Now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Nice. Good little callback. Virus. Here they come. Oh, I love how Brad's just like, oh, what? Here. There's so many. Brad is a bit of a dumbo. Not gonna lie. Fuck. Oh, run, run. Let's go. Oh shit, already? Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Okay. I like the, de the redemptive arc that they've given him. You know, I, I like that. Uh, his death isn't as good as the original, let's just be honest here, you know, sorry, I know there's a lot of people in my last video don't, don't want to hear opinions and the fact that, you know, I don't rate that death as, as much. Let's take his ass out. I mean, I will say that I like that he has a redemptive arc, definitely, I think that's really cool. Definitely. Whoa, okay, okay. No, no, no. Too many. <laughs> Fuck that. Alright, we've got no rounds. Shit. I'm probably going to get up to the, the part where the demo kicks off. Parking garage, okay. Oh, Dario. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? Oh, I'm not cool. Going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can the only safe it. place is in here. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much like Dario from the old one. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't like Brad's death, or at least his his infection in this one. As much as the the death by the hands of Nemesis, but um, I do like I, I don't know there's parts I do like about it. It's not as good, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I like that he, you know, is a little bit more ballsy and knows how things are going to end up. So he's like, just get out of here, do me a favor. I quite like that. I like his ha I like his redemptive arc definitely. Um, I like what they did with his character. Oh shit. So, so far I'm liking it, definitely. Um, I know reviews are mixed and stuff, but it's it's not too bad. But I can tell you right off the bat that I'm probably not going to like this as much as uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake. And for a lot of people saying, oh, you know... Oh, shit. I've got to fight these dudes. Oh, man. Uh, I've got to fuck them up. 
fuck. Yeah, a lot of people might say it's way better and stuff like that. Well, it just depends on if you're more into... Um, I don't even need to waste my bullets on these dudes. Come on. Cool. That's cool. Just depends on if you're in, into the more um, plot driven, you know, sort of. I'm trying to think. Like, with Resident Evil 2 Remake, it still had the exploration and the backtracking and stuff. And. This is definitely more plot driven, you know, less backtracking. Hey, get in. Oh shit, that was a nemesis. That was cool. Sorry. I like that. That's cool. Start, damn it. I don't know about the quick time turn, events. Bitch. sort of stuff that Jill would do. <laughs> She's crazy like that. That's how she survived this long. Oh, she fucked herself up. <laughs> I like the nemesis, man. Oh, I know what to do. Oh, okay, I didn't need to. Fuck. Um. Hey, fuck this. <laughs> what the fuck? He caught it with his tentacle. So Carlos has just got the the hey, quad rocket launcher straight away, yeah. Who are you? What are you doing, Carlos? I'm saving. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. It's a lot more linear. That's what I was the word I was looking for compared to Resident Evil 2 Remake. I, I, look, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you I like Resident Evil 2 Remake more. I, I've seen gameplay of this. I, I've seen the reviews. Um, so far, I'm kind of in the middle. Like I'm. At the moment, I'm like, this isn't a bad. I think we're in the clear. This isn't a bad game, but it's. I hope so. I'm enjoying it so far. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. Okay. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Okay, um... I'm gonna stop here, but yeah, so far, I'm liking it. I've seen mixed reviews and stuff. At the moment, with what I'm playing, um, it's kind of... It's sitting at... A high... It's sitting at an 8, so far, for what I've played. Um, I really, really like, kind of, the, the intro and stuff, the way it does things. I don't like... Brad's death in this, I've got to be honest, it's kind of cheap the way he gets bit by a zombie. Um, but I do like his character and I like that he has a redemptive arc. So there are things that I like about it and things I don't. I much prefer the nemesis just taking his ass out. It was way more shocking, you know, and he went out like a bit of a G because he got took out by the nemesis. But there are things that are really cool. Like, as much as I don't like the, the quick time event stuff that's happening when she was driving the car, I like 
I like the thematics of it. I thought that was very cool. And the sort of stuff that she... It's the sort of thing that she would do. Just drive a car full force into a tyrant like Nemesis, you know, to try and take him out. She's crazy, and that's why Jill has lasted as long as she has. Um, love the callbacks to Arclay, you know, the Arclay Mansion uh, labo laboratory. Um, and the whole intro where we get to her in her apartment, the way that, you know, she's turning into a zombie, she's dreaming, having a nightmare. Wicked. Really like that. So at the moment, from what I've played so far... In terms of beginning, like intro, it's an 8 out of 10. I'm really liking it. Um, but this is only the beginning parts of the game. So far, people are saying it's short. It's very, very sort of streamlined, very linear. It's going from one part to another. I didn't think that we'd just end up in the subway section. I thought that we'd, we'd get to explore and walk there. Uh, as it is, we've literally just bumped into Carlos. He had a quad rocket launcher for some reason. I, so they've overpowered him a little bit. And then rescues Jill, you know, and then we're in the subway section. So this is kind of what we've seen from trailers and where the demo takes place after this. You meet Mikhail. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm enjoying what I'm playing of it so far. We'll see how it gets on the more I get into the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I got it a day early. So once again, big shout out to game. It, it came early. Very, very happy. Maybe it's dependent on region. You know, I live more around the south coast and in main london and stuff like that uh, but yeah overall not too bad it was cool seeing um a live action uh, cinematic at the beginning that was cool bit weird they don't have to have that they could have done it with you know cgi cut scenes and stuff but it's cool because it's almost like a callback to the original resident evil and i thought that was that was quite impressive so it was cool to see it again we haven't seen that you know since the the very first resident evil game so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're a Resident Evil fan like I am I'm going to get through this game I'll give you guys my my opinions my initial impressions at some point and then I'll do a review on it um, so yeah stay tuned to my channel for that I've been System Check 66 I'm going to get stuck stuck into Resident Evil 3 Nemesis or Resident Evil 3 Remake and I'll catch you guys again next time peace